Hello. It's great to see you. Oh, I've got a new friend out tonight. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. It's Auntie B here, and here's Bobble. That's right, I am Bobble Bear. We're here to say hi tonight and read you uh, some stories and sing a song and just have a great time. Thanks so much for being here. I was so excited tonight. There's so many of you here today. I'm just ah, so excited. So here's some, um, here's something we wanted to start with tonight. Uh, a little different. Ta -da! That says shout out. That's right. We're giving some shout outs tonight to some of our friends. Thank you very much for being in touch with us. Tonight we'll have a shout out to our friend Brooke. Brooke, are you there tonight? I hope you are. Um, Brooke uh, ha sent me a video of herself reading. Yay! That just made my day, Brooke. So thanks so much for doing that. She was reading Elephant and Piggy. Isn't that one of our favorites? Oh, we love Elephant and Piggy. Um, and her sister Ella was playing the piano with her. They're fantastic. I was dancing to puppy love. Do, 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 do. Oh, Bobble, yes you were. And I'd like to give another shout out. Shout out to Aaron. Aaron, you're the reason that we're reading Robert Munch tonight. That's right, Aaron. It's all because of you. Thank you. And I want to give a really nice shout out to my friend there. Shout out to Ollie. Hi Ollie, are you there tonight? It's great to see you if you are, I hope so. And Ollie was one of our very first viewers and has been really supportive, so thanks to Ollie and to his parents. Hi guys. Let's get started. I want to sing a song. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, I do. Okay, well then, I think I need actions for this song because tonight we're doing Itsy Bitsy Spider and uh, oh, I just see a couple names up there. Hi, Brad Monte. I see you. Well, I don't, but I see your comment on the side from your dad. So, um, hi, Penny. Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. This is illustrated by Rosemary Wells. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Again. I always wondered why did she choose to put a chicken at the end? I really don't know. There you go. So I thought we could just do that one again, but this time with the actions and can you change your voice and sing with me? So how about if we go squeaky? Really, really squeaky. We did with our little squeaky spider. One, two, here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. <gasps> Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout the game. Oh, wow. I hope you are doing that with me. All of you. And now, let's go down and do it in our bear voice. I'm not going to do the actions this time because I've invited Bobble to come along. Well, I am a bear after all. And Bobble is going to sing it for you. Here you go, run. Say it, bear voice, hello. Hello. One, two, ready, sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy went up the spout again again oh, you're so dramatic thank you 
Well, it's time for me to read the story, Bobble. I'm gonna have you sit down and listen. Hey friends, good to see all you guys there tonight. <clears throat> I thought maybe some of you are missing school, so we'd pick a school-based story tonight. Show and tell. This, of course, is by the one and only Robert Munch, and the pictures are by Michael Marchenko. This is an old copy. You know, my home library has pretty old copies of books in it. This one was published by Anik Press. Here we go. Oh, look at precious little baby. Here we go. Benjamin wanted to take something really neat to school for show and tell. So he decided he would take his baby sister. He went upstairs, he picked her up, put her into his knapsack and walked off to school. Oh my goodness, Benjamin. Now, some of you have baby sisters. Are you thinking this is a good idea? I don't know. But when Ben sat down with his baby sister, finally she woke up and she was not happy inside the knapsack and started to cry. Give me your best cries. Wah, 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 wah. The teacher looked at him and said, Benjamin, stop making that noise. Ben said, it's not me. It's my baby sister. She's in my knapsack. I brought her to show for show and tell. Yikes, said the teacher. You can't keep a baby in a knapsack. She grabbed Ben's knapsack and opened it. And the baby looked at the teacher and the baby said, Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Don't worry, said the teacher. I know how to take care of babies. And she picked it up and rocked it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Oh, unfortunately, the teacher was not the baby's mother and she didn't rock quite right. The baby cried even louder. Wah, wah. The principal came running in. He looked at the teacher and said, Stop making that noise. The teacher said, it, It's not me. It's, it's Sharon, Ben's new baby sister. He brought her for show and tell. She won't shush. The principal said, Oh, don't worry. I know how to make kids be quiet. He picked up the baby. And he yelled, Hello, be quiet. The baby did not like that at all. It screamed really loud. Ready? Wah! 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 The principal said, What's the matter with this baby? It must be sick. I will call the doctor. The doctor came with the big black bag in the baby's eye. She looked in the baby's eyes. She looked in the baby's ears and she looked in the baby's mouth. She said, oh, don't worry. I know what to do. This baby needs a needle. She, the doctor opened her bag and got out a short needle and said, nah, too small. The doctor reached in her bag and got out a longer needle. <laughs> nah, too small. The doctor reached in her bag and got out a really long needle. <gasps> nah, too small. The doctor reached in her bag and got a enormous needle and said, yeah, just right. When the baby saw the enormous needle, it yelled as loud as it could, wah, wah, wah. Ben said, what's the matter with this school? Nobody knows what to do with the baby. And he ran down to the principal's office and he called his mom on the phone. And he said, help, help, you have to come to school right away. The mother said, Ben, your little sister's lost. I can't come to school. I have to find her. 
She's not lost, said Ben. I took her to school in my knapsack. Oh, no, yelled the mother. <laughs> and she ran down the street to the school. The principal came and the teacher and the doctor, they were all standing around the baby and the baby was yelling as loudly as possible. Wah, wah, wah. The mother picked up the baby and rocked it back and forth and back and forth. The baby said, ah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, said the principal. That baby was making so much noise. It was making me feel sick. Sick, said the doctor. Sick, did that man say he was sick? He must need a needle. So the doctor opened up her bag and pulled out a little needle and said, nah, too small. She pulled out a longer needle and said, nah, too small. And she reached and got a really long needle and said, nah, too small. The, then she reached in her bag and got, the enormous needle and said, Oh, just right. <laughs> the principal looked at the enormous needle and he said, Wah, 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 and he ran out the door. Now, said Ben's mother, it's time to take this baby home. Right, said Ben, you can use my knapsack. What a good idea, said her Ben's mother. <laughs> That's a good place for Ben, isn't it, after all that? Ben and his mother put the baby into bed. She, she went to sleep and didn't cry once. Ben went back to school carrying some strange things for show and tell. And he wasn't out of place at all. My goodness, what do, what do we got here? Bagpipes? We've got a dog? I don't know. A curtain rod? A snake? Wow, Ben has some crazy ideas. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> do you see some favorite Robert Munch characters there? <laughs> I see Thomas from Thomas's snowsuit, and I see the dad from 40 Below Zero, and the dragon. Who else is in there? Oh, there's so many of them. There's the pigs. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much to Robert Munch and Michael Marchenko for teaming up again for another fantastic story. Wow, it was really, really great seeing all of you tonight. I hope you enjoyed the stories, and I hope to be back here tomorrow night. If you want to come back, that's great. Pop me a message if you want. Um, maybe I'll get a shout out to you. And I'm just really thankful that you are all here. And let's remember to be thankful for the traditional territory that we're on. For me, it's on the Mississauga First Nations. So thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Bye. Oh, sorry about that. I guess it didn't end when I thought it would end. I was reading your comments. Bye.